Hello everybody. We're back again, coming at you with some Q and A. <laughs> I don't know what, what are we doing. Uh, Q and A. Yeah, so cool. I think it was last week. First of all, we didn't upload on the original day that I had intended because my sister had a baby. So, so that happened. <laughs> yeah, you guys saw in our last video that we were on a farm. Pretty much, we were dealing with chickens and goats, and so we were taking care of their animals while uh, they were in the hospital. So that's where we were. But they're pretty easy to take care of. Chickens do their own thing. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They're funny too. Um, okay, let's get to the Q&A because we got plenty of questions. Thank you to everybody that sent them in. We're just going to get started. We're going to get started with this. First question. If you were to do it all again, what, what would you do differently now that you have 2020 vision on the past? It's still not 2020. <laughs> I'd like to believe that, but it's not. My eyesight's terrible. Yeah, it's like I forgot exactly what mistakes I made. Hope I don't make those again. <laughs> I'm going to make them again. Uh, so, yeah, uh, most people ask this question in regards to the trailer specifically. Uh, so basically, I, I kind of think like, what would I do different on the trailer? Like obviously there's other things that we can probably do different, you know, financially or location wise, as far as choosing trips and going on more trips and all of that. Um, obviously more trips, that's just that answer to that question side of it. Yeah. But as far as the trailer goes, um, there are a, a couple of issues uh, with, with this one and probably other slide outs as well in relation to kind of they sweat a bit more because there's gaps um, in places so it's not completely watertight in, in that sense uh, so in fact we can look down by our fridge in between where the slide out connects and see outside and so um, every once in a while I'll, I'll try to go and and seal up as best I can but the way that it's formed and like to press up against each other is just not sealed and so that's one major issue I have with just this model specifically who knows they maybe had better models before and after it <laughs> Maybe we just got the one defective one. We didn't even notice it until about probably halfway through us having it. So I agree. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you happy with the camper and truck or do you wish you went bigger? So it's kind of along the same lines, but with the truck too. Uh, the truck. So of, co of course I want bigger, right? I mean, that's it just, you have no worries we're at that Texas. point. And yeah, we're in Texas. So it just, we would fit in, you know, <laughs> but uh, as far as the truck goes, really, I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. We, mm -hmm. we made it through two mountain passes in Colorado, both scared the heck out of us, but uh, yeah, we made it through. And but so it's, it's like, I'm proud of our little vehicle out yeah, there. Yeah. And I think as far as pulling in most of Texas, which is flat, uh, it does pretty dang well. And the truck yeah. itself, I, I mean, it's good for me because driving, going from driving you know, an exterior, it's decent size to a truck is, is a big jump. So I think if we had yeah. gone bigger immediately, I wouldn't be able to drive that truck at all. And plus they're making <laughs> trucks bigger every single year. Each one keeps getting taller, a little bit wider, not wider so much, but, uh, the, the length to, um, it just seems like everything's just bigger now. And so it's like, yeah, her going from the exterior to this, a little <laughs> bit of a, a gap there as far as learning, but, um, I think an F-250 would have been, been great. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, we would have to potentially probably go diesel uh that's already a cost as as is then from there you have maintenance costs for diesels that's also more expensive yeah uh, and then also just the amount of fuel consumption uh that alone just those factors makes me kind of say probably not mm -hmm. I, I, I think we made a good choice for where we were um and then yeah we're only pulling i forgot how much it's right around five thousand pounds roughly maybe something around there we'll go crazy we'll say we're pulling six thousand pounds um, our trucks rated pretty far above that. And then there's also models of the F-150, like the EcoBoost. We could have potentially gone up to something like that. And those pull 12 or 13,000. So yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's the only thing maybe I would change going up to an EcoBoost. Uh, they're not much more than what we have. We got the F-150, the 5.0, um, which I believe they even stopped making, but I can't, I can't remember something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm actually happy with the 5.0. Has enough power, a uh, little bit of pick me up, you know. And I think for, like you said, for the, like what we had at the time, like mostly financially, I think we did best with what we had, you know, as far as like the size goes yeah. and the truck, we couldn't really at the time afford anything bigger on either side. And also yeah. not pulling a trailer before, we didn't want to go with a big fifth wheel um, you know, or something super long because it wasn't something that we'd ever done before. So we didn't yeah. want to go from doing, pulling nothing to pulling, you know, a 40 foot. Well, trailer. the original thought was an RV, like an actual, mm -hmm. you know, self-propelled. And then we get a, I think they still call them dinghies in the back, you know, a smaller car. We uh, didn't end up doing that. Obviously, uh, we went the whole pull behind. A lot route. higher cost too. 
Right, and so um, we decided not to do a uh, it's fifth wheel. So yeah, um, but now I'd kind of like a fifth wheel. We'll see what happens in the future. Let's build a house first. Yeah, we're gonna build a house first. <laughs> Have you thought about solar? We, I mean, we've kind of answered this quite a bit. Uh, I'm not sure if they meant solar in regards to the house, but let's let's go with for the house. We'll go with both. Uh, so obviously we thought about solar for RV. We bought a, uh, I think, a hundred watt worth of panels. No idea what we're doing with it. So yeah, we thought about it. <laughs> Didn't put a whole lot of them. Not we have enough. Them. <laughs> yeah, we have them. But, but we also we we don't go anywhere where we need them. Right. Um, we, we thought we were going to go okay. somewhere that we needed them, and ended up not needing anything. We just parked in a Walmart and we're just fine. And that was during our Colorado trips, the Colorado Chronicles. So <laughs> so to reference. But uh, as far as the house goes. We aren't ready. I've, I've spoken to people about that for this area. Uh, we're in a, a decent area for it where we can actually potentially sell back. I don't see the financial gains. Uh, obviously, as far as being off the grid, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, but as far as financially, there's not enough of a reason yet. And also, the maintenance on those is pretty decent. Uh, so, I mean, for anyone else out there, it may make more sense. Uh, for us right now, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Plus, with our the constraint of our budget right now, uh, with everything that's going on, obviously, baby, uh, you know, and other things, uh, I don't want to take the shot at that quite yet. Soon, maybe with the second house, obviously there's a whole other plan involved with everything that we're doing, mm -hmm. but yeah, potentially a second home coming in the coming years. Long that's, way down the road. Right, and this is all practice or like kind of gearing up for something like that. So maybe mm -hmm. solar then, that'd be pretty cool. Kind of like figuring out how to homestead eventually right and more more off-grid yeah um this is kind of a, a trial run for yeah. homesteading we'll yeah. see what happens when it comes to changing diapers who is most likely to throw up or gag first my bet is on matt my bet's on matt too probably <laughs> gag <laughs> yes throw up well yeah probably because she never she never does no yeah, I she never and does. I've, I've worked with babies and children and yeah that stuff doesn't i don't know it doesn't bother me i have a strong stomach but we'll see <laughs> We'll make sure to capture it oh, so yeah, everybody can see. see. You'll see a lot. <laughs> yeah, my, my bet is on me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you anticipate to continue traveling once the baby is here and everything gets settled? Yes. 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 Um, I would. I would love to. In <laughs> fact, I mean, I'm not against going anywhere while the baby's still young and little. But we've got a lot of family, especially uh, the grandparents. I yeah. think they would. They would kill us if we up and left after we had the baby. <laughs> I was still looking to do a Texas series, and actually I had a couple of ideas on that one. So I don't know if we want to start now and then have this gap of time. No. Like we talked about in the past, how we're going to do it. I didn't want there to be a gap of time and then start up again. Um, I kind of want to continue for a while. So I think one, our, our way back into the RV lifestyle, since we are sort of stationary at this point, is going to be that Texas series. Um, I think that's going to be the next thing that everybody sees. Um, and I already have a plan that I'm working with a, another individual on, and uh, hopefully the more details will be coming out on that soon. I mean, I think that, you know, we're still going to have the trailer. This is this is our second home, I guess, once the other home is built. Um, and I would love to travel places because I've, I've heard of, you know, people that have great memories growing up as kids. They take the trailer or the RV mm -hmm. out with their family and they go, you know, even if we go on weekend trips, I think that would be worth it for... The kiddo. That's of course several years down the road, but that's that's the plan. Um, right, you know, which, even whenever she's still little yeah. and, and not even moving around, I would like to still go on some some short trips. And even if we're not taking the trailer, you know, I still want to try and like wander around and get out. And um, I you think, use that word, yeah. huh? wander. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> uh, how long have you guys been married? I'm gonna go ahead and say ten years. No, married. I know. Married. I know we're basically married. Uh, Five and some change, right? I believe. Are we at six yet? We're not at six yet. We're going on six. Yeah, we're going on six. Yeah, it'll be six years in June. Twenty uh, Yes, sir. <laughs> How long have you had the camper? Going on. Uh, not two. Two. Oh, years. almost two years. Yeah, we and we half have, a month away. We've lived in it almost two years now. We've we owned it as of mid February. We moved into it into February, like March. Yeah, yeah. So almost. So almost two years. Most awesome place you have visited? It's got to be Colorado, but to hone in a little bit more, I don't know, I like the whole us staying in Buena Vista just because you wake up and literally we can take a morning walk up a mountain that's built in, like it's 
it's the town's built right on this trail. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was really cool. Yeah. Um, and you just have these great views, and you're actually able to look out at some, like, I guess the, the largest Collegiate Peaks mountain range, uh, like, right from that mountain. And then you walk a couple, like, maybe an hour, and then you, you come back in town and you have some breakfast and go on your way. You know, we were doing sales in that area, so yeah. I was. But, uh, yeah, I, th I think that was my favorite area. Yeah, I, I really, I mean, of course I'm going to say Colorado because that's the farthest we've been with the trailer. Um, and, I mean, Pagosa was awesome. And I like the whole setup where we stayed with my aunt mm -hmm. um, because we were out, like, in the middle of nowhere yeah. and with the trailer. And that was just so cool because we were so secluded. You open the door and, like, there's nobody around. And then Pagosa was a, what, 15-minute drive to town? Yeah. Pagosa Springs is a cute little town. They've got a ton of great hikes, especially waterfall hikes. Uh, I loved how many waterfalls there were in Pagosa. And, I mean, some of them were not even a mile hike to it. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous hikes. But Buena Vista was really cool, too. Yeah. How there were, like, there was, like, the small mountain that we hiked in town. Was that was that was really cool. So, I mean, it's a toss-up between the two. Um they're very close to each other, so yeah. you can hit one and the other. But definitely recommend uh, you guys go and check it out because it's both of those places are Especially if you're awesome. in Texas, Pocosa is just right up there. There is a little mountain pass that uh, it's it's not too bad on the way in. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're coming from the east side, like a little bit northeast of it, yeah, Wolf Creek Pass is a little scary. Um, if it's your first time pulling up a mountain. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, just be prepared. The other mountain pass is not bad. So um, if you're if you're new, come from the south. If you're experienced, you know why not go northeast. How much did you spend on getting the trailer livable? This one's really hard to answer. Oh well, we have a we have Probably. a video. Yeah, so we have a video on all the things that you would need to at least get started. So I'm assuming this is like all trailers are basically livable. You hook them up and then you basically live in them. I mean, it was it was well, pretty neat the first time we moved in, but there's a lot yeah. of little things that we noticed. Oh man, we need that. I'll link that oh below. yeah. I'll it's link like that video below. <laughs> drinking hose was one thing. We, we realized, oh, we're just using regular hoses. You're not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we food got, grade hose. Yeah, food grade hose. The electrical plug-ins. Yeah, well... So how much do you think? And um, does that cost the... Like, does that include the cost of the trailer? Let's say it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I'm not including the trailer. Obviously, you choose whatever trailer you feel is necessary. not including where you stay. Because well, that's obviously yeah. going to come into... We're talking about the like, livability of the actual trailer. <laughs> Um, so really, it's. I think you can probably do it for under three hundred uh, to, to get everything that you need to, to basic, basic, yeah, living. There's a lot of little amenities that you can probably get, um, like locking wheel chocks and fun things like that that make it easier for you to set up and do things like that. Obviously, different ways to hook up to the, the truck itself. There's a lot of things that you can get to add on, but livability. Just keep things simple. Um, you don't need a whole lot. And what I would do is just. There's definitely link that video. There's mm -hmm. certain things you'll definitely need, and you could probably go and end up spending five hundred plus dollars. Uh, there's some things that are just a bit more expensive just because they're specialty. Uh, if you have the time, I would say look online. We didn't really have the time. We just were like, we're living in this thing. Mm -hmm. We need this stuff. Let's go buy it at an RV place. And so obviously they upsell there. So, but yeah, she'll link the video and yeah. Oh, this one is uh, related to nutrition or diet. Why did you guys get, decide to go vegan and what benefits have you noticed? Basically, as veganism goes, it's for ethical reasons. I, I love animals and that's that. Uh, it's been almost four years? No, almost like three and a half years. We're going on four. It'll be four in October. Three and a half years. So, yeah. um, but basically, just ethical reasons and, and that's that. Benefits? My digestion has improved. I have noticed that. I used to get yep. a lot of stomach aches, which I, I'm thinking I might have been slightly lactose intolerant, and I just didn't know. But I used to get very, very bad stomach aches, like terrible stomach cramping. Mm -hmm. um, my digestion's pretty dang good. I know that, especially whenever we first made the change, I feel like we recovered a lot better between workouts because we were bouldering and climbing a lot at that time, and I was also lifting. Um, I didn't feel as much pain in my joints. I still don't. But we don't also climb as much right now, so. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, other than that, and I think we've done a video on this a couple years ago, um, it wasn't like a big, You, I've, I've heard a lot of testimonials about people that they go vegan and they cure, like, 
this disease or they cure this and cancer cells reduce yeah like all these or, crazy know, stories like ours is more normal like yeah digestion's a little better but i mean i'm just i'm more eating in a way that i feel like aligns with who i am and that makes me happy enough but granted we are not the healthiest we're not so and that's okay because i wasn't the healthiest person you know i still enjoyed junk food before going vegan i still enjoy junk food now i don't see myself cutting it out entirely because I don't think that's realistic for myself. <laughs> um, so I'm sure, you know, if we went more like whole foods, we'd probably feel differently. It's not going to happen. But I'm okay with eating some Oreos every now and then. Yeah, Oreos, Taco Bell, all that kind of stuff. Oh, you yeah. can make it vegan and we do make it vegan. And uh, it's kind of fun. So as far as why I got into it, it's mainly because of her initially. And then yes, ethics. Uh, and then as far as benefits, I probably noticed some things, but they're minuscule. Mm -hmm. We don't get a lot of cholesterol, which is kind of nice. There's a ton of cholesterol, obviously, in meat products. We don't, I don't, I never really noticed an issue with it beforehand. Mm -hmm. um, really, it's just, yeah, it's, we're eating to kind of further who we are, yeah. in a way. Well, and that's one thing I tell that's people is, is whenever I first made the change, um, it's, it's hard not to kind of open your eyes to that, because I've never thought about that before. I've not, never thought about where those animal products come from um, especially factory farming is the biggest thing and i never paid attention to where meat or dairy or eggs were sourced before and once i realized chances are if you're buying them from like a main like a regular grocery store uh they're going to be from factory farms so coming to that realization was was it was kind of jolting to me and so for a while i was posting a lot of stuff on social media about going vegan like mm -hmm. i was i was that vegan i was very emotional about it just because i cared so much about it i still do but i you know it was all fresh in my mind so i shared a lot of like videos and articles and all of this stuff basically just encourage people do what you can you know understand where your food comes from and then make the decision from there it's up to you i'm not going to tell you what to eat or what not to eat we're going to eat what we're going to eat and if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them. If y'all are interested in, in it, look at, uh, what is it, How Not to Die? There are a lot of things that once you start learning, whether you choose to, to go vegan or not, or even just reduce, um, it's just important to know, like I said, where your food comes from. So, yeah. All right, enough pushing our um, agendas. Have you come up with a name for Baby Girl Wyatt? Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, <laughs> I would say yes, but I don't, I, I, we could do a video on it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking we could do a video on it or some kind of like... You guys will find out soon. We'll do like one letter a day for the next like however many videos. I don't even want to give out how many videos because that gives out how many letters. <laughs> I'll flash it. <laughs> yeah. We'll flash how many um, letters. And then, oh, another, I think this was from the same person. Are you going to raise her vegan as well? Um, and we've, we've talked about this quite a bit um, because I know it. But not enough. Yeah. So we don't, we don't know. It's still something we're deciding. Um, ideally, yes, but... I'm going to do what's best for our baby's health and our baby. Yeah. Um, as far as I know, you just have to be very aware of where their nutrition is coming from. Babies are different. I mean, of course I'm going to breastfeed, but whenever they start to eat solid food, um, it's it's something that we're still figuring out. Yeah, we're looking just for... to be completely honest with yeah. you guys, we're still figuring it out. The way that we'll raise her is, is basically we're going to encourage her as she when she gets older to know and understand where food comes from, um, and then from there she's free to make her decisions on her own. So we're not going to be the people that tell our kids you can't eat this because it's not vegan and she's five years old and doesn't understand. If she goes to a kid's birthday party and they have cake, she can have some cake. <laughs> but it's, it's not choose. something that we're going to say, oh you have to do this just because, or because we told you so, we're going to just teach her this is why we make these decisions and then whatever she wants to decide as she gets older is completely up to her so. but yeah we don't know yeah we don't know it's, it's we haven't decided yet there's we'll, a lot to think we'll about you know. with kids you know yeah uh, i guess so now we're just gonna you know fly by the seat of our pants <laughs> there's a lot of decisions like we're just gonna throw food at her whatever ends up hitting her and she eats it you know <laughs> so ahead i don't know last question why don't you guys buy a fifth wheel with a second bedroom for the baby or a destination trailer and leave it parked on a concrete pad and use your camper for travel so that actually costs more than what we're doing and we've always wanted a home base so Mm -hmm. At the very beginning of all these videos, I always said kind of what my dream really was. I just didn't really push it too hard in the videos just because it was so far away. Literally, I said two years out, I would like to build a house. Not necessarily stop the whole RV thing, which we're not going to start stop RVing at all. We love the lifestyle. This is this is pretty nice. I mean, mm -hmm. 
we lived in this thing full time for two years now and uh, looking to, to do part time at least uh, from here on out. Uh, so like most most our viewers. Yeah, and we're we're <laughs> it's it's we're building a twelve hundred square foot house. Yes, the square footage sort of got away from us. We just started throwing <laughs> out numbers and we're like, yeah, it's gonna be what. 800, 900 square feet, and then it got up to 12, and we're like, all okay. right, well, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so we're also building it to rent out later. So there's a whole other reason mm -hmm. for this thing. Um, but for right now, yeah, I've always wanted, like, as of that two-year mark, I wanted to have a house built. I wanted to build it myself, and that actually ended up sort of coming about. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're building a house right now. I'm doing all the trenching. I'm doing all the, the plans uh, with, with help uh, from a business partner of mine. And so we are uh, hopefully starting in this next week. And so you all should see, start seeing videos on, on the whole process. I've already seen videos. You've seen videos on the base. Like the, <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing there. Digging and, yeah. and moving cactus. Yeah, I can move this, this oh. blind and you're just going to see a flat field. Where's the house? But yeah, we were, you know, <coughs> thinking about just getting a fifth wheel. Um, I mean, this trailer is, is ours. Mm -hmm. So we would just be adding another trailer, which, I mean, if we're going to be stationary whenever we have the baby, we might as well have a home base. Mm -hmm. And as he said, eventually the goal is to rent it out. So whenever we use this as like our practice run for his dream dream, whenever we get a bunch of land and we have kind of like our little homestead, um, we'll use this information from what we learned with this little house mm -hmm. to do that one. Um, and, and also then, have income from this to supplement our travels. Yes, that's where I was so, going So yeah, Airbnb is a great thing. Amongst other things, there's also property management, which is sort of something I'm dabbling in currently, so we'll see what it's ends all, up happening. So. And it's just funny because it's all kind of coming together, but like there are all these little different puzzle pieces that have come along throughout the years, and we didn't really know what they were for, and now they're slowly starting to piece together, Yeah, which is pretty cool. Or well, sort of just like, you know, forcing them to fit, you know, just throw them on the table and just making it we're happen. We're making our own puzzle. Yeah, we're making our own puzzle. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it just, it, at this time, it just makes more sense for us to do that um, and then have 1,200 square feet as our home base and mm -hmm. then we still got a little trailer so yep. hopefully we'll take little baby baby girl Wyatt on on some trips soon. And oh. yes it's 1200 square feet but it's very minimal so the, there's not a lot to it. It's a kitchen, it's a bathroom, it's a bedroom and uh, just a very minimal living space. Well, not That not we will to, finish out yeah. as we go. And then later I'm going to add a, a bathroom of another bedroom. And, yeah. It's going to be a, yeah. it's, it's a process I guess. And we still haven't named it. We still need to name no, the thing. No, dang it. No, dang it. No, dang it. So. By next week, that's our goal. All right. Well, that's going to be it for the Q&A. Um, thank you guys for sending in questions. If you'll have any other questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll start compiling a list for another, because I like doing Q&As. Uh, we don't usually get a lot of questions, because I think we're pretty good at answering them before they come up. But if you have any, then leave them below, and we can do another Q&A. Um, but I do have a list of a few questions in regards to house that we're building. So if y'all have any of those, there will be a container home Q&A coming up soon. So that's it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you did enjoy this Q&A, hit your, hit, hit your thumbs up. Yeah. Give, give hit your our thumb, thumbs up too as use well. Use your thumb to hit the thumbs up. Yeah. On the <laughs> Notification bell. The There's apparently a bell somewhere. There's a thumb. I don't thumb. think it works. Well, but ring the bell yeah. anyways. I mean, we'll, we'll be here. You yeah. guys know where to find us. Yeah, come find us again. But uh, thank you. Appreciate you guys. Um, all of the support and encouragement and excitement. I know a lot of you guys are really excited about this process and we are too, so let's get going. I see a ring. Yeah, I know you see a ring everywhere you go. 